think we're going to see a blitz. I don't think so either. They'll lay back there. Give him a little time. And what do you think that Nick Gonchitano is thinking about? <laughs> he is the place kicker. Maybe called on to try to salvage at least a tie. Hamilton and Bellamy go wide and left. It's first down at the 49-yard line of West Virginia. Schaefer hands the ball off. And there goes Smith. And Smith has got a first down. And that will stop the clock again at the 38-yard line. We talk about gutsy calls. That was a gutsy call of the fullback, Steve Smith, number 33. Let's talk about Gatsutano for a moment. Past the 40-yard mark, he has not made a field goal in three attempts. But that's premature. Let's Schaefer across the middle. That's another good catch by Eric Hamilton. First down at the 25. They're moving into field goal range. 54 seconds to go. They're looking for the score to win the ball game. West Virginia hasn't launched since 1955. They're holding on to a three-point lead. And the ball's at the 26. Schaefer getting the snap count out to Eric Hamilton. Clock started again, 45 seconds to go. Schaefer back. Schaefer, it is intercepted by Holly. Down the sideline. Put on his feet and out of bounds. That should do it. Look at this field, Jim. 35 seconds go. They'll never clear it. They're tearing the goalpost down at the end where, where West Virginia, they're only going to sit on the ball anyway, but that goalpost is coming down. Most of the people who are on the field now were not even born when West Virginia last beat Penn State. And I'll tell you what, there's 35 seconds on this clock, and you know Joe Paterno. they got to get these people off the field because Joe, he believes that anything can happen, and we're not talking miracles. It, there's just too many strange things that happen. Even the players are trying to get the people off the field. Game is not over, folks. Not with 35 seconds to go, even though you have to believe it, Kevin White will simply put his knee down and let it run out. This would be the first loss for Joe Paterno in 19 tries with West Virginia. It would be the first time since 1955 that West Virginia has won it. Well, they were trying to throw the ball to Cyberling downfield. John Schaefer, number 14. And it looked like he was open for a second, but Larry Hawley is going to get the interception. Cyberling slipped and fell down and Holly picks up the ball just get down with it <laughs> but he, he ran at the ball Joe Paterno has come all the way across the field to talk to Nealon and now he's going across to the other side giving Look. Kevin White and they say he may have come over to say that's okay he may have come over to say run the clock you got the ball game what a piece of sportsmanship but West Virginia also earned it they earned it. The clock is still running with nearly a half a minute to go. And after 25 straight losses, and with representatives of the Orange, the Sugar, the Gator, the Fiesta, the Sun, the Peach, and others in the stands, West Virginia is now 7-1 and one on the year, losing only to Maryland. And in the last two weeks, they may have wrapped up the Lambert Trophy by knocking off Boston College at Penn State, and they have also beaten Penn. Who stands in their way? The ball game now officially is over. West Virginia wins it 17 to 14. And Bedlam breaks loose in Morgantown.